All right. You guys want to talk about Duracoat? I want to talk about Duracoat. Let's talk about Duracoat. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Why? This is the, the question that people have asked me. And they're like, okay, I get it, Paul. I get it. You've mentioned it. You've talked about it. You don't need to talk about it anymore. You're like, you said to me, I, I don't have an old gun. I don't have my great uncle Jim or my grandpappy's gun or my dad's gun that needs a new finish. I don't have any of that. I have a brand new gun that I just got out of the box. So it doesn't need a Duracoat finish because I don't want it to be green or blue or orange or red or anything like that. It's just, it's black and it's fine and that's it. And I say to you, awesome, cool, fantastic. But I also say to you, here's some reality. The gun you bought was based on a certain price. The price was based on what the manufacturer knows they can move those guns for. They do market research, they know what their competition is doing, and they factor in everything from the stock to the trigger to whether the receiver is going to be aluminum or steel. Everything that goes into that gun is based on how much they're going to sell it for. To include the finish. To include the finish. Now, when they're putting up when they're mass producing shotguns, rifles, handguns, whatever, they have to think about, all right. How much should we spend finishing? You're like, what do you mean? It doesn't cost them anything to put a finish on a gun. It's already there in the factory. <laughs> no, ladies and gentlemen, every single step in the manufacturing process costs money. Some steps cost more money than others. So if you're mass producing shotguns, rifles, whatever, and that gun is in the price point margin or I, what, what do I say it's in the price point category is most normies when they go to Academy Outdoors to buy a shotgun to buy a bolt action rifle whatever they're price shopping most normies today don't walk into the Academy Outdoors or the wherever and say I'm or well, let me What's my new favorite? The the Murdochs. They don't walk oh, yeah. into Murdochs and say, I am going to buy the Remington 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 today. Now, actually, most of them think, I'd like to have a new rifle for deer season, or I'd like to have a new shotgun. And they go in, they're like, what do you have in 12-gauge shotguns? And they're like, well, I have this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. This one's from here. This one's from XYZ, blah, 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 blah. And so, you know, what does the normie consumer do? They price shop. They look at features and they're like, mm, okay. So if the knowing this, the manufacturer is not going to invest 50 to to $100 in the finishing process because that has to go into the price tag of the gun. Instead, what they're going to do is they're going to invest probably like 25 or 20 or maybe $10 in the metal finishing process to keep the price point low to compete with their competitors, right? The, the finish on most price point. Now, if you're buying a custom rifle, you're like, no, dude, I bought a custom blah, blah, blah. I spent 1800 bucks for it. Okay. If you bought a custom, whatever, and you spent 1800 bucks on it, that's not a price point finish, right? You know, I went to Weatherby and I bought the Weatherby Super Ultra Magnum Barwara and I gave him eighteen ninety nine for it. That's going to have a good finish on it. I went and bought a shotgun or a rifle that was $489. That, ladies and gentlemen, is going to have, it's going to have a finish, but it's the least expensive one that they can get away with putting on there. I just experienced uh, that situation with an out-of-the-box gun. Uh, got it out of the box, was testing, you know, basically I took it apart, I cleaned it. I didn't really have to clean, clean it, but I, I put lube on the, the rails and, I, you know, all the mechanisms and so on and so forth. We took it out the range, you know, and I noticed that there was a, a scratch, not a deep scratch, but just a, uh, a line that was about an inch and a half, maybe two inches on the barrel. 
and you see it and I, I took my finger and i rubbed it to see if it would just rub off and it didn't rub off now it wasn't such a deep scratch that it was down to the metal but it was a scratch in the finish was i super angry about it no i'm not super angry about it but it it's reality the gun has a price point finish on it that's reality so if you've got one of these guns and you're like well i like i really like this gun a lot and i, I plan on keeping it what you can do is just pop your little butt over to dura coat firearm finishes and like i said you don't have to make it red orange blue camouflage you know tiger striped anything you just put a solid color on it and one of the things what occurred to me jared when i saw that little scratch on the barrel was what did steve lauer come up with right be before he left us uh the badass the badass bad. he came up with the badass coating and the badass is a rock solid hardcore firearm finish and it is way more solid and hardcore than anything you're going to get from a price point factory gun if you have one of these rifles one of these shotguns you know or a handgun or whatever uh, that has a price let's you know, let's face it it's a factory bluing or parkerizing or whatever uh, they did that because they had to put a finish on the gun they're not going to spend a lot of money because they know they're competing with other people uh, and they can't that's just the reality of business the badass finish if you go to duracoat's website you can find it right there uh, you can get it if you're a pro and you have all the airbrushes and hoses and everything then you're good to go uh, if you're not a pro and you just want to do it in your garage or your workshop or, or whatever, you can get the can and can technology uh, and slap it on there. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is why, and I've had people say, oh, I've got a brand new gun. I don't need a Duracoat finish. It's it's fine. It just came, out of, I just got it out of the box. Like, okay, cool. Awesome. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Moving on. Moving on down the highway. Moving on down the highway. Moving down something, something, pass me by. All right. <laughs>